What a little champ. Now, they're meticulously crafted German timepieces that became a regular feature in Aussie homes in the 60s and 70s. But since then, many cuckoo clocks have become tired and in need of repair. So here's Paul Macon with the only man in the state bringing those precious family memories back to life. They originally were made in, uh, in the Black Forest. It is a very nice cuckoo. The cuckoo that would come out just above the dial was to represent a cuckoo sound, and if you heard the sound in the forest, it meant good luck. There's one. <laughs> it's enough to send you, uh, well... But 25-year-old Justin Lang has made cuckoo clocks his life like that one that just went then. <laughs> He's one of only three specialist cuckoo clock repairers in Australia. We get them sent in from all over Australia, um, even around the world, um, South America, uh, America and uh, New Zealand, uh, South Africa was another place and some Asian countries. From a corner of his gift shop in Harndorf, he happily fixes these unique timepieces for all sorts of people. But his work does come with a caveat. I get most enjoyment and uh, satisfaction out of repairing uh, a cuckoo clock for someone that uh, finds it most sentimental. And if someone was to bring it in just to make you know, a few dollars on it, I'm not really interested because I'm so busy as it is just repairing clocks for and cuckoo clocks for people that uh, find them very, very sentimental. The cuckoo clock began its journey through history in the Black Forest of Germany in the 18th century and traditionally features carved animals, woodsmen, dancing villagers and of course that famous bird. They're a wonderful German handmade product and you don't often see that uh, sort of craftsmanship around this day in this style of clock. But they have so many memories uh, with the people that have owned them. They could have been in many, many houses uh, through many generations and uh, working on them is such a privilege and I have such a sentimental sort of attachment to these clocks. I really would like to keep it. We've tried to get it going, but it does work, but the only problem is it loses time. It does need a bit of wear, this movement. Um, it does need a good clean. I've had some people even uh, get quite emotional in the shop because they have now a cuckoo clock that perhaps wasn't working beforehand. Um, that was once their grandmother's. These little cuckoos have an incredible work ethic. Imagine having to hang around for an hour, 24 hours a day, for a performance that lasts mere seconds. That's German dedication. When you think of the me mechanism behind it, it's quite extraordinary, really. Elizabeth Ontrag from Allgate feared this much-loved family cuckoo clock was cactus. It worked perfectly for 10 years, but in 2002 it just stopped. It was taken to several places for repair, but without success, until it was taken to a place in Hondorf and it was repaired, and since then it hasn't um, broken down anymore. Justin turning back the clock for another happy customer. Wunderbar! All of them are individual and they've all got their own characteristics within the timber, so they're definitely a beautiful piece of art. <laughs>